I'm so excited to share with you the book Fervent Prayer. It's actually the Fervent Prayer Journal. I listened to the audiobook Fervent Prayer by um, Priscilla Shire, and it really inspired me to pray, like pray fervently, pray without ceasing, pray in pray with a strategy. Like how many of you, haha, <laughs> you can't raise your hand because I can't see you anyway, but how many of you have seen the movie War Room? I have. I've watched it many times, and War Room is about prayer. It's about establishing a prayer time with the Lord that is fervent, that is powerful, that is consistent, or at least that is un stoppable. Like when we pray, heaven literally responds to us. So I've been convicted lately of my own prayer life. I get into these habits. I don't even know if I want to call them habits, but I get into these times where I am all in, right? I'm praying. I'm getting up in the morning. I'm I'm reading the word and I'm praying and I feel powerful, right? Like I feel like I can face this world and that I am unstoppable because I have the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of me. I am communicating with the Father. He heard my prayers. I have let everything out to him. I've just laid it down at his feet in everything feels like it's flowing and moving the way it should be. And then I get into times where I feel like I'm barely praying. Like I'm not spending time, um, diligent time with the father. Like I'm not focusing. I'm not 100% present in praying bold prayers about things that I'm actually dealing with. And I don't feel very powerful. I mean, it's not rocket science. We know that we are called to pray, that we are called to bring everything to the Father. Now, it's up to us to do it. You know, I'm famous for saying that Jesus is not going to come down here in your living room and put a prayer journal in front of you and open it and cause you or even read it for you and write down what you say out loud. No, we have to do those things ourselves right? Like I can't pray personal, heartfelt, deep prayers for you on a daily basis. Yes, I can pray for you if you ask me to pray for you specifically for something. But as time goes on and days go by, those prayer requests change. And if you're not updating me every single day, you know, maybe like every half day when uh, life changes, you know, and situations turn around or, or people who were in your life leave or, you know, or you get new people who come into your life. Like those are situations that only you can be praying about. So that's important for each one of us to understand that our personal and intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ involves prayer, fervent prayer, prayer that moves mountains, prayer that happens without ceasing. You know, we're always going to have, as long as we live on this earth, we're always going to have things that we need to pray about. And I say need because we are called to pray about everything. Like our every need should be brought to the Father in prayer. And that is what I've been convicted of. I'm one of those people who will try everything and then go to prayer. I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better. I mean, I've been a believer now for 20 years and that's something that I have been learning <laughs> for a long time. And now I'm quick to go to the Lord in prayer. But I'm still not there where I have everything in like this this prayer strategy and like I'm praying things through. I'm praying things through. Like like we're famous for, well maybe I shouldn't say we're. I'll just talk to, about myself here cuz I don't know you personally, but I'm famous for praying things at the beginning when they're really um, on my mind and you know, it's something that is really bothering me or maybe like overwhelming me. Okay, then I am, I'm praying. I'm praying without ceasing. But over time when the pressure lightens, but is not gone completely, do I continue to go to the Lord to pray the situation through? 
because we're called as children of God to live in victory. So that means we're called to pray and to bring everything before the Father and pray it through until victory happens. Now that could take a long time. I've personally been praying for some things for years now that have not come to pass yet. But the Lord convicted me on my sporadic prayer strategy. Like sporadic prayer is, is it's weak prayer. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really being hard on myself right now. So please don't take this as a, like I'm being hard on you. But I need to pray some things through. I have to pray about these things every single day. If I want to be delivered from it, if I want to see victory in my life, then I have to pray without ceasing. Like I have to pray until that situation is no longer happening. Now, does that mean I could be praying for things for many years? Absolutely. I've already been praying for a very long time for a couple specific things in my life that have not yet come to pass. But you know what? I don't pray for that situation every day or even every time I like get quiet with the Lord and bring my request to him. I might not pray for that situation, but I am going to go through this fervent prayer journal. And I am going to pray through some situations in my life that have been hanging around for way too long. And I am ready to have victory in this area. I'm ready to be delivered. You know, I can look back over my life since I've been a believer and I can see, I can remember very vividly the areas in my life that Christ set me free instantly. Okay, when you've prayed something and you feel like you've been delivered of that it, because you no longer are tempted in that area, so you know that the Lord has worked in your life, he's worked in your heart in those areas, and he sets you free from them. I have times in my life where that has happened, but the Lord wants us to be mature Christians. He wants us to be mature in him, and as mature women of God, we have got to pray some things through all the way through so i've dropped the ball on a few of those things but i'm ready i have asked for forgiveness and i am ready to pray some things through so i want to encourage you if you have never heard of this book if you have never heard of her uh priscilla's book fervent prayer like right now i listen to it on audiobook because i have quite the little drive to work so i just listened to it on my way there and back and i finished it you know within a week and then this popped up coincidentally on my uh, Amazon suggested purchases or, or whatever it's called. I can't think of what it's called right now. But it was definitely what the Lord wanted me to see right now. And I just felt compelled to purchase it. That's why I'm taking this journey. And I just want to encourage you to take this journey with me. Esther 414 says, Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created to get serious about your prayers, to pray fervently, to pray strategically, and to see some things changing and moving in your life and to pray it all the way through to victory. So that's the word that I have for you today. It's just pray, pray through, pray until victory happens because the Lord wants us to live in victory. But in order to do that, he must have us participate in what he is doing. We cannot just passively set by and hope and wish that things in our life would change, that God would just know what we need and that he would just answer those prayers because he is a loving father. He is all of that, but we are required to participate in this relationship with him. Listen, this relationship is not one-sided. Both of us are required to be in the relationship for the relationship to be vibrant and healthy and intimate and deep. Our relationship with the Lord is worth all of the time and energy that we put into it. 
we're going to get out of our relationship, our Christian walk, what we put into it. We have to be present. We have to be committed. We have to be sold out for Jesus Christ. And we have to live our lives for an audience of one. And then we will see the miraculous in our life. We will see the impossible become possible only through the work of Jesus Christ in our lives. I hope that word encourages you to get in the the word of God, to fervently pray and be delivered. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for your word, Lord. I thank you that you want this relationship with us to be two-sided. Like a one-sided relationship never works. It's never intimate and personal and deep and lasting. Lord, so I just pray that you would call each one of us into a fervent prayer life with you, Lord, so that we can see the miraculous and the impossible become possible in our lives, Lord. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.